What the hell just happened in the <laughs> NHL playoff race? Oh, my word. The Detroit Red Wings, uh, their fans hate us quite a bit already. I have been hard on the Red Wings bandwagon down the stretch, though. I mean, I think we all yeah. were. We I was were saying, like, hard. Yeah, yeah. We, we wanted them yeah. to make it. I, to be fair, there was a point where, like, my thing, my two ideal teams to make it would have been Pittsburgh and Detroit. Yeah. That I thought, thought would have been the funnest. But then once once the Islanders were already <laughs> in, <laughs> it was, like, ruining the everything. The biggest oh, eye roll. Right, yeah, I love it. Like, wow. Not an exciting team. And <laughs> I mean, they could be because they, they do have a fun fan base. So I'll, I'll give them that. And a coach. Fun coach. Yeah. You know, oh, if he starts wow. fighting the other coach, he's yeah. gonna he's gonna do something. Wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or if he sure. pulls the goalie with twelve minutes left in the second, in like game six, something like that. Pull Torts, Torts <laughs> and, are, and the game is tied. Yeah. Tor- Torts are going out of Patty's book. So going into the night, the Islanders were in. They were locked into that third division spot, and then there was basically four teams going for the last wild card spot. Am I right in that? The Capitals, Capitals Flyers, Red Wings, and Penguins. Penguins. Yes. yes. Couldn't have ended in any more devastating fashion for some of them. I mean, like dramatic you, fashion. Were you watching the yeah. Habs Red oh, Wings yeah. games? <laughs> so like, it's crazy. One, this was always back a couple weeks ago, and I was just looking at the Habs schedule. Like, who do they finish season? Not that it matters, but yeah. just wanted to look at the Red schedule. Wings, Red Wings. And I saw the back-to-back Red Wings, and I'm like, we can seriously play spoiler here. Yeah, yeah. And they go up four-one the night before, lose. It's on the road. I'm like, okay, whatever. Going back at home, last home game of the year. You kind of brush over that. That was an insane game. Yeah, like, yeah. The, but the but it didn't surprise me that a young team like the Habs just blows that lead against a, a hungry team like the yeah. Red Wings. And then part of me last night, obviously the Habs are like, we're going for a better draft pick. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what? Let's just play spoiler with these guys. Let's ruin their <laughs> yeah. season. There's nothing better than a team that has nothing to play for just ruining the season for a team that has everything to play for. You know. So, the dog? Yuri Slavkovsky? No. Lane Hudson? David Perron is a dog. <laughs> that was literally like, I'm not kidding. Like, there are certain moments watching hockey in your life where, like, that was one of the craziest things yeah. I've ever seen. Watching Detroit score that goal last night, I, I think was like, that must have been like a top 10 all time moment. Where I was really? Like, Game man, was over. David Perron iced the puck. Season like, on the line. Like, literally, this is your last breath. And they score with 3.3 3 yeah. seconds left. Like, you cannot make it up. So You definitely. cannot make up that it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I called, I the called Chris The comeback the night before, nothing. I called Chris B. I faced him and was like, dude, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. And then as we're on facing me, I was oh, my God. The Flyers just pulled their goalie. And the Capitals <laughs> just scored that goal. Like, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. That's what made it even worse because Re- Detroit so deserved to win that game. They outshot Montreal 19-3 to in the third. Wow. Yeah. Like, the Red Wings force it to go to shootout. They win in shootout. Patty Kane, of all people, scores the winner. And he just rips it in the net, and he just skates back. No celebration. They the, the players, knows. Yeah, it's just they know. It's they just know. devastating. And I feel like part of us, we were robbed for, like, a great, great playoff-clinching moment. But also the moment that made us robbed from it was the Flyers pulling their goalie. And Washington, Washington of all teams, worst goal differential since 1991 to be in the playoffs. They're in crazy record in, in one goal games this year another one they're the team to get in off of the flyers pulling the goalie like you you literally could not script a better ending to a season Dude. better or devastating well okay, if you're a red wings fan but for if you're a neutral like as a neutral last night it was, Penguins just, uh, it was great but like and also like as a neutral the two teams to make it out of all that group was the Islanders Sucks. and the Capitals. Yeah, yeah. Like the I way that. Crosby's been playing, willing that team to this point. The Penguins and Red Wings would have been so fun. It would have been so fun to see Crosby in the play. Like, we were going over it before we started. Like, the Penguins haven't won a playoff series in, like, what, six years? The playoffs for the Penguins have just been a disaster. They were up 3-1 against the Rangers last time they were in. They blew it. Backup goalies, whatever. Crosby yeah. missed the game. The year Louis before Dubé. that, they were up 2-1 against the Islanders. Lost three straight. Like, we we have been robbed of potentially another Crosby playoff appearance. And, well, like, and like a Penguins-Rangers series would have been Oh, my sick. God. Especially given the 3-1 last time and, like, how the Penguins had backup goalies in and the fraudulent Rangers at that point in time. Would have been great. Two years in a row, and the Pittsburgh Penguins have missed the playoffs by a combined two points. Yeah. I, you feel for Red Wings fans. You feel for Penguins fans. That is tough. And you end up in just, like, a spot where you pretty much don't have a shot at a good pick. And, like, ugh, that, that that is just a devastating end. And Torts doing it when, like, it 
he didn't realize it didn't matter. Of all, of all guys, <laughs> like, obviously it's torch. And then he gets goes to the post-game press, like, no, nah, I didn't realize it, but, like, I don't give a I would have done it anyway. <laughs> but you know what? I, I agree with them. Like, you're, yeah, uh, right you go into the man. game knowing that that's the way you need to make the playoffs. Yeah, you're no, not you're scoreboard th- watching. Like, focus on your own game, and that's, you went in knowing this is what we're going to do. I don't care about, the, like, it doesn't matter. You're trying to get in. Yeah. I, I will say, the Flyers no. just blew this, though, for themselves as well, because they're part of the equation where, like, there was a point where no one thought they were going to miss the playoffs. Was like, okay, like, they're playing bad, but, like, no Tor- one's going to catch them. And then the Islanders go on the Torch is going to win the Jack Adams. Exactly. It's a walk. And now yeah. it's like. They trade their best defenseman. Yep. <laughs> and then just loss after loss. Torts calling people out, scratching people. It's it's kind of a fitting ending to the Flyers season Bringing as well. Bringing in the giant almost. Russian goalie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't help. Yeah. It was a crazy thing. But, like, also, I got to go back to this. Because Torts. If I'm if I'm towards, I get what you're saying. Like you're not scoreboard watching in terms of like whatever. You don't want to know what the score of the game is at the time. But I'd have some. I'd be like, there's some intern that I'm like, when we're eliminated, you come tap me on the shoulder because we have to screw this team over. Because like I, I I think playing spoiler is one of the funnest things you can do in hockey. And like to do that, I mean, I guess if you're a Flyers fan and you're kind of like. Yes, we got to screw the Penguins and the Red Wings. That's probably bigger than screwing the Capitals as a Flyers fan. I don't right? know. Caps is a division rival. Like, yeah. Red Wings are, are over in the Atlantic. Yeah, but the Penguins too. I the think Penguins, what makes yeah. it hard, and I think this is also like the beauty of the situation and what makes this a moment that like years down the line we're going to remember this night in the NHL, just how close – like the Red Wings scored with three seconds left and then yeah. immediately after – it was so like, close together. It's not like he had – 15 minutes of time to know. It's yeah. Just like, it was there was, a there was even a discussion of like, people were like, which one did happen? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. people didn't know for a bit, but yeah, it was uh very wild. Uh, I couldn't be, and now we didn't even talk at all about the fact that like the <laughs> Boston Bruins, I don't know about like throwing games or whatever, <laughs> did not play well <laughs> against the Ottawa Senators, lose that game, now play against the Leafs. Obviously the discussion is like, did they want to go play? I mean, the they Leafs? haven't lost to them in a while, so I get why they might. I would, I would rather play Toronto than the Lightning, personally. That's my take. That is my take. I think, I think I agree with you on that one. Yep. I, I, and no. that's that's nothing. Solve a pedigree. That's, that's nothing against. That's nothing against the Leafs. I just. It is. I don't like. No, no. I just don't. I would not want to. Play Mine Lightning. is against a, the I, Leafs. I've been, <laughs> I've been, I've been on the like. I don't want to play the Lightning train for a long time. Like I just, they worry me this year. What's your best series out of the East now? Like uh, out of those ones, we will do a full video where we're gonna rank all the different playoff matchups. But like, just is there one that in sticks out to you right now? Just because the East is I, decided. I think I think Lightning Panthers yeah. is gonna be an incredible series. Like I think it's gonna like either you can make an argument for either team winning that one, no question. And there's just plus so- they've, they've just got they both got a bunch of dirty players. <laughs> like, yeah. Kucherov's got a weird, dirty edge to him. <laughs> he and does, like, doesn't he? He's yeah. a bit of a rat too. A hundred percent. No, oh, no, oh, no. End the video. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs>